Good morning everyone. Hope you are all well. So today we are going to start our new literature chapter. Tia and the traffic lights. Open your books. So in this chapter we are going to learn about traffic lights and traffic rules. How a small little girl planned to organize a road safety week. Let's see what's there in the chapter. Tia and the traffic lights. There was once a 10 year old girl named Tia. She liked her school. She liked to study and play. So there was a girl, her name was Tia. She always liked to go to the school. She liked to study, play. On the way to her school, and when she uh, goes to school, she had to cross her roads. Her grandmother dropped her to school. Every, every day she goes to school with her grandmother. And when uh, on the way, they had to cross few roads. One day, when she was coming back home from school with her grandmother, a bus suddenly zipped past them. It means that the bus moved at a very high speed when they were crossing the road. A bus came with a very high speed. Tia and her grandmother were both angry as they skated. Bus driver did not even stop to check if they were safe. So at this point, they both, the grandmother and Tia both got very angry because the bus driver moved at very high speed. Tia realized that the bus driver did not respect the speed limit and the zebra crossing. So Tia realized, she realized that the bus driver do not know the rules and the regulations of the road. Uh, he did not respect the speed limit and even don't know about the zebra crossing. She thought of doing something to teach everyone the importance of traffic rules. So she thought of doing something. She thought of some idea to teach everyone the importance of traffic rules. Tia had a brilliant idea. So she got an idea. She shared it with her teacher. Together they planned to organize a road safety education week at school. So she planned with her teacher along with her teacher. She planned to organize road safety week. So let's see what was there in the week. According to the plan, each child had to choose a traffic sign and learn its meaning. According to her plan that each child, each child has to choose one traffic sign and they have to learn also its meaning. What is the meaning of this sign, this, this, different signs are there. You know? They then had to explain them to the people visiting them door to door. Their parents helped them learn about these signs at home. And in this way, they themselves learned the lesson of obeying the traffic rules. Obeying means following, to follow the traffic rules. So what is there in this paragraph? That, that each, has, uh, each child had to choose a one traffic sign and they, had to they have to explain them to the people also, visiting them door to door. They have to visit each uh, like it, people door to door and they have to explain the different and their parents will help them to learn about these signs. So next, the last day of the week, the children got dressed as traffic signs. Signs. They walked around the town teaching people what the signs meant. That means at the last day of the week, the children uh, dress up like the traffic signs and they, uh, and they went door to door around the town and they started teaching the people what people what uh, what basically the signs meant for they told they told that it was important to respect traffic rules to make the roads safe for everyone the teachers was really surprised and happy with tia tia was such a good girl such a brainy girl that everybody was surprised with her way of teaching and everybody was happy with her the people of the town remembered to respect the traffic signs every time they were on the road. 
After this, the local government also put up the missing traffic sign along the roadside. So, after this, the people also started respecting all the traffic signs, and uh, even the local government of that area also helped. Tia and they put up the mess, uh, missing traffic signs along the roadside. So here we are finished with this chapter. You have to write this, uh, read this. Sorry, read this chapter again. So after reading the whole chapter, you have to learn the word power. First one is zipped. Zipped means moved at a high speed. Organized. Second one is organized to arrange. Third one is obeying, that is following. And you have to write make sentences. You have to make the sentence of these three words also. And you will write it in your fair tone. I hope that everybody will read it very properly. Thank you. Have a nice day.